was a little girl. I've been mesmerized with that chemical thing that goes on between two humans, that tingling feeling in your upper and lower body, love. I was infatuated with the infatuation of a significant other. I googled boys in suits, and I pasted clip art hearts into my pink notebooks, and I cut out pictures of Zac Efron from very unreliable teen magazines. I was boy crazy. I'm still boy crazy. Maybe a little girl crazy on the weekends, but I remain boy crazy because of something called love. And how could I not be? Romantic comedies display the perfect scenario that I replay and replace, replay and replace, replay and replace, replay and realize that repetition is foolish. Hey, yeah. Books give me already perfect words that are already put together, unlike my love life. And the whole music industry sings me the same melody, the same tune, the same message, consistently ringing the love bell. And Woo! my name has been impounded with patience. Like, wait. Perfect man is out there waiting for you. Wait! Save yourself for a man who is saving himself for you, which is complete BS. Mm. And wait! Don't sweat, stay pure. Just wait for a gentleman to stride in and sweep you off your feet. And wait! I'm sorry. I don't need Prince Charming to sweep me off my feet. I can stand on my own just fine. <laughs> I've tried conjugating my fantasies of love into some form of reality, hoping that they would come true ever since I was a little girl. But as I've transitioned from little to big, no one told me I'd go through a toxic relationship, or a disgustingly cheesy relationship, or a weirdly friendly relationship, all to conclude I am sick of this generation's definition of love. It has been watered down to a lukewarm cup of water that everyone drinks out of. So, if the future contender to add on to my list of failed relationship is listening, please, don't use I love you in a run-on sentence. Hey. Woo!